Hello there, internet friends, YouTube people, and the people who know me in real life and actually watch these videos for some reason I'm not sure of. Uh, by now, you have almost certainly heard that Wheel of Time finally had a trailer release, and I'll be upfront, this is not a uh, live reaction. I already watched this five or six uh, hundred times. I, I don't really do live reactions just because I feel like there's a lot of things I'd be missing because I'd be focused more on trying to talk to you guys as opposed to focusing on this. So I have watched this through a little bit and I have n almost nothing but positive thoughts on it. And I kind of just wanted to go over it with you and talk about it a little. Nothing too crazy. I don't think I'm going to go into a lot of detail breaking down the trailer or anything because I actually want this to help bring in people who haven't read the books and might be interested in this. So I'm only going to put out some very minor spoilers, and I would also recommend that you go watch it before you watch the rest of this, so please go do that. Okay, you're back. Cool, let's get started. Be strong. So we start off with what uh, might look like an attempted murder, but it, it I'm pretty sure it's just some sort of... Uh, rite of passage that wasn't in the books like either this will be Egwene training to become the village wisdom or it'll just be something that girls in Emmett's field go through either way pretty funny opening and then we have you know nice landscape shots the wheel of time turns and ages come and pass okay i have to pause it there because i i didn't quite squeal when i heard that the first time but i was like oh she said the thing which made me happy and if we go back a little, you can see the inside of the inn, and to a lesser extent, the outside part of Emmons Field as well. It, it looks a little bigger than I anticipated, because, you know, Emmons Field is supposed to be this really tiny backwater village out in the middle of nowhere. And this, on the inside, it seems like a little too wealthy and a little too big, like there's too many people in this area. But at the same time, that is a pretty small nitpick. It's a small change. Like, the important part is that they get across how isolated it is. And also you can see right here, the main trio, uh, none of whom really get more focus than the others, which, excuse me, I'll talk about a little bit more in a minute, but I do like how they're doing that because if you're genre savvy, like if you've read a lot of fantasy and you read the first couple chapters of the book, it's a bit more obvious what is going on. And that can kind of ruin some of the surprises. Whereas for the show, at least for the marketing, they appear to be not giving away the goose quite as quick. So I am happy with that. But also, that said, like, the sets, costumes, everything, they all look great. More landscape Leading shots. Memories. Now, this guy... Oh, wow, I chose a bad time to pause. There we go. Still not a great time. But this guy, people keep saying that they think he's a warder because he's holding an Aes Sedai ring, and he's sad, and I, I just... I don't think he is. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Luz Theron, who literally dies in the prologue <laughs> so i mean i don't know i feel like they would have to show that scene at some point during the first season like even if they only show it briefly but i've just heard so many people say this is a warder i i disagree that become legend another cool shot okay and here we have obviously tar valen uh because you can see dragon mount is there in the background uh, the White Tower is a bit less, uh, I, you know, normally I wouldn't go this route, but it's a bit less phallic than it is in the books, which I think is good, uh, because, the, like, the island is already shaped like a vagina. They don't need to make it more obvious, but, uh, again, just looks really cool. I, I don't have a lot to add, but it looks, uh, it doesn't look like just any old random European medieval city, and I know Wheel of Time is technically a little bit after medieval level of technology, but close enough. And then we have my rain. The power in inside you. Pretty sure that was her going to All over the world, there are different names for it. Okay, and this bit, th th this scene actually made me really happy. Uh, I think my face is probably covering the bottom right-hand corner, but you can see all the different Ajas, all the different groups of Aes Sedai, who, if you're unfamiliar, they are the people who use magic in this world, and they're all women. Uh, I won't give away why 
men can't do it because I don't know if they want to do that in the marketing or not, but just men, for the most part, cannot use magic. But anyways, they're split into these different groups, which are all color-coded, and my face is covering up the green Aja, but then counterclockwise, we have brown, white, blue, yellow, uh, gray, and red. And I am super happy that they are actually color coding them. They're having them dress that way so you can tell right away, like, yes, okay, this is this person. That's what so, some of what she stands for, uh, etc. And just it takes advantage of the fact that this is a visual medium and also just, you know, bright colors. People complain about movies and television in recent years being too dark, but you know, this doesn't appear to have that problem. And then just, uh, this is, you know, the Amir Lin Seed, who is the leader. And the rainbow shawl is one thing that I do wish they had done a bit different. It's not like a huge complaint, but like if you look at her collar, you can see like, yeah, there are the different colors for all the different Ajas that are supposed to be coming together, but it's really faded. It looks like they put it through the wash. I feel like, you know, if they're all going to be wearing their own colors super bright and obvious, then she should also be doing that. One thing. And then healing, which... Some people said that didn't look impressive enough. I think healing is supposed to be kind of subtle anyways. And then again, right here, we can see obviously some shit's going down. And then uh, much more impressive channeling coming from White Rain there. Again, just looks really and cool. Who I have no complaints. We protect the world. Okay. This, this scene, I know I'm pausing it early on, but you'll see what I mean in a minute. This is a little odd to me because I don't know exactly where this is supposed to be in the book, and it looks like it's a pretty big battle. Because at first I thought it was uh, the Aes Sedai capturing Loghain, which happened off-screen in the books, but in the show I'm pretty sure they're going to show a lot more of that storyline, which I'm okay with. But at the same time, we can see Nynaeve is here, and she was not there in the books, so either it'll happen later, uh, or it's changing a lot, or this is just... A different scene altogether, and I'm misreading it. And again, Nynaeve and Lan, right there. More cool landscape shots. Pe people were saying that that's either Tar Valen or Shadar Logoth. I'm pretty sure it's Shadar Logoth. And again, this is meant to draw people in who are not as familiar with the books, so. If I keep rattling off names and locations and stuff that you don't understand, I would discourage you from looking it up, at least from looking it up on the series wiki, because that has a lot of unmarked spoilers. But basically, just, yes, that is a city where some shit goes down. So I see it and I go, oh, that's kind of cool. No matter what happens. Angry <laughs> face. I'm pretty sure. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to show that again. But I'm also pretty sure this guy is... He might just be some regular criminal, but I'm pretty sure he's meant to be an Aiel, uh, who are these people who live, like, far away from any of the main characters at the beginning. They live off in a desert and rarely come into the Westlands, which are over the mountains. But just based on his clothing, I'm pretty sure that's an Aiel. But at the same time, we are getting, again, the three main boys all get a little bit of their own focus here. Angry None of them face. are obviously the main Heart character break. or anything, which is cool. Uh, here we have... Uh, this This also struck me as a bit odd. It's not a huge deal, because clearly they're being physical with one another, uh, which is... I, I know that in the show the characters are aged up a bit, so rather than being like uh, 17 or 18 as they were in the books, they're probably going to be in like early 20s. But at the same time, they're supposed to be from an ultra-conservative area where premarital sex is a big no-no. So I, I'm not sure if I like that change, but it's not, again, not a big one, and I could be misreading it. The wheel keeps turning. And then, look, happy celebration. That's pretty clearly on winter night, uh, which is very quickly juxtaposed with a fucking funeral. <laughs> and I think this is, again, supposed to be the aftermath of capturing Loghain, uh, but I'm not totally sure. 
it it is a little hard to to read but just you know again if you haven't read the books Loghain is just a giant troublemaker we'll see him again very briefly uh, the dark one is coming for your friends some shit's going down big battle yeah like that's Loghain and he's releasing this wave of power you can see which again I'm cool with Loghain did not get quite enough screen time in the original books Last battle is coming. All right, here. This was one of my favorite parts. So it's obviously not a great shot. It's not super in focus, but uh, these are Trollocs. These are the main uh, servants of the Dark One that people are fighting throughout most of the series. And I, I mean, they look pretty cool here. One thing I will say is that throughout all the years, all the fan art and er and even uh, official art, like on covers and stuff. Uh, Trollocs have always looked pretty similar to one another. Like, there aren't a whole lot of different ideas for what Trolloc Trollocs could look like. And these fit pretty clearly into that, you know. It's, again, very good, but it's not that different from anything anyone else has ever done. Whereas the Murdral, which are also evil creatures, which we'll see in a second, uh, they went a different route. The only thing that matters is what you do. Fighting, fighting... Okay, land taking out three with one swing was pretty cool. Whatever happens now, there's no turning back. Yeah, there it is. There it is. I don't tell. I can't tell you how much time I've spent just staring at this like still image. Uh, that's pretty clearly a merge roll, and it looks a lot different than, or not a lot different, but different than I expected, because most of the fan art and stuff has shown them having like hair, and even if they don't have eyes, they just have like little blank sockets where their eyes should be if they were human. They just, they just look too human, basically. Whereas this, and granted, it's not an amazing look, this looks inhuman. This looks like, yes, if you told me that this thing was created by a being of pure evil to serve it, then I would believe it. Because like it has like 50 rows of sharp teeth. Look, it goes back into its cheeks, even. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to rant about this one too much, but this, this looks really cool, and I like it. And then just that last bit where we're seeing all the channeling of Moiraine, and it looks really cool. And plus, we see her and Land seem seemingly know how to work together, and they know how to fight together, which would make sense because they've known each other a long time. And uh, yeah, don't have much else to add. Like it is coming out in November. Oh, hey, I should probably not have that infinite thing going, huh? Uh, but yeah, it's coming out November 19th, specifically. And that's good to know, because if this goes the same way Amazon's shows are usually released, that is three episodes at once and then once per week after that, then that means that the final episode will be coming December 24th. So, you know, an early Christmas present. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, it'll just be a cool day anyways. And uh, don't think I have a lot else to add. Like I said, I didn't want to go frame by frame and talk about everything, but I think it has the feel of the books down pretty well, where it's, you know, not super dark and gritty like something like Game of Thrones or The Witcher is, but it's also a bit uh, more serious and a bit darker than uh, a lot of people imagine fantasy to be, like Lord of the Rings, for instance. Uh, and again, we see there's a lot of cool vistas, uh, cool landscape shots, the costumes and sets all seem pretty good. The VFX from what little we see all look pretty great. I just have very few complaints. Like this, this got me into it. I was like, yes, I want to see these battles and everything. And I am curious about what other people feel this about this. Like, if you are someone who hasn't read the books, I want to know: if, Did this catch your interest? And if you are someone who has read the books, did this catch your interest? And if it didn't for both groups, then why not? Because I'm curious about your thoughts on it. Like, the thing is, I haven't seen too many complaints about this. Ooh, this is a good place to stop. I'll, I'll hold it there. Uh, I haven't seen too many complaints about this. I've seen one or two people whining about how, like, it's going woke or whatever because they dared to have non-white actors in the show. But, um, you know, those, those sorts of people are always there as long as they're not too prominent. I don't really give a shit. And plus, I don't know if I ever said this in a video or anything, but 
I, I've been predicting for a while that there's going to be a lot of people whining about how the show <laughs> is going woke or whatever, just because it has women in positions of power and because many of the people involved are not white. That's just that's just what they do. They're broken records at this fucking point. Uh, but, you know, don't let them ruin it too much. And, yeah, I don't know if I have anything else to say. I will see you later, and goodbye.